All right, here we go. Venom mirrors. All right, so it's gonna be interesting. I don't think I've ever really seen this played. <laughs> so it's probably my best to commentate Venom Mears here, but uh, I feel like this is gonna be a lot of just uh, yeah, sit balls. Um, Early boost here from Frosty and Echo, so I, I actually like, just don't know how to play Lunar Burst. I mean, like, they can set their balls, but uh, the thing is, like, when they launch them, uh, I believe they should probably clash and cancel each other's balls out. Um, so I'm not sure, like, how effective it's gonna be. Like, you see, you have two QBs on screen right now. Again, they're, they're really just being content here to kind of play the zone game right now. Uh, Swiggin moves it in here a bit. I don't know what that ball's up to. Alright, Swiggin taking the first round. Two, two, all or nothing. <laughs> Alright, he gets a knock in here, see if he's going up. Kill block. Uh, not telling you about that mad struggle. Uh, okay, block's not true. Uh, that's a good room reflex on that mad struggle. That should be punishable. Uh, doesn't take advantage of that though. Uh, crazy burst. gets it though but I one thing to note I, I feel like Swiggin is definitely playing cleaner than he was last week yeah yeah I think it's tough to like kind of it's tough to see uh, in this mirror I feel because like they, they're both trying to play like that same range game and uh, the balls just kind of they cancel each out uh, to their out a lot and like there's not like a ton of of aggressive Let's movement on either side. Uh, but I do agree with you where I think he's uh, set up slow and pretty clean so far. He's at high there. Uh, Frosty is blocking all the low ones, so you can see so we can actually mix it up there. Go for the, uh, high mix up to throw. Uh, went for an OTG there. Not sure about that. I'm not sure what he went for there either, unless he's trying to throw a first. Old burst. Alright, let's see if the bishop comes out. Not yet. Unfortunate OPG there. And gets caught by the teleport. Uh, it'd be a shame here if he yeah, lost the round with Pulse Clutter. You never like to see that happen. Uh, especially with Venom. Venom has like a lot of uh, stuff you can do to control space in here. Like Bishop on a pretty just dark hand. Uh, so we can uh, at some point though. He's underneath the ball. So something you gotta watch out for. Swiggin's definitely had a much easier time or did a much better job of uh, getting his balls out faster, uh, getting his positions faster than uh, Frosty has. And as Venom, I feel like once the other Venom has uh, his balls moving, it's very, very difficult to do as a character to be able to do anything uh, against that in neutral. So I think it's uh, really important to uh, Screen. It's really, like I said, it's really important that you don't become the second one to get his uh, his balls out because uh, at that point you're playing catch up with a character that's uh, not really built for that. All right, so we're gonna line up the next match here, and Swiggin moves on, and we're waiting just for the winner of Sunny's and Sunny's and ten to one. So we're gonna see where they're at. Sunny's. So we're gonna get Sunny's in. Uh, we're gonna get Sinny's and Swiggin to play right out of the gate. Okay.
swinging left there afterwards. He's gonna jump right back in now. So I would say uh, Sinny is going to be the favorite in this particular matchup. Uh, very experienced player, strong Zato, although it looks like he's going to be going soul uh, for this one. I know he's got like quite a few characters uh, sitting in the back pocket. I've seen There's Axel, Temkin, Johnny, uh, his Mei. So unsurprising to me that he didn't have a soul uh, at this point. So we're going to get started here. Uh, this is a matchup where I think... Uh, Venom can have some difficulty here, uh, like kind of does the jam in that uh, Soul can make those Soul really quick, and it's really hard for him to get Soul off of the Soul is in. Uh, Soul just doesn't get a personal off in terms of dealing with Venom setups. So Sinia's uh, starting the corner pressure early here. Back here, that's plus. Don't know why you're mashing there. Plus again. Just jump out this time. Zero so jump back in, and that's a lot of risk. I think that was a wise decision there. A lot of risk was accumulated with those more stored their starters. Uh, that could have been like really bad. Now he's gonna kind of fight his way out of the corner here. Confirm that. <laughs> I, I can see him trying to 6P uh, the approach. Of it's a little too early on it. And he's kind of beating up the double jump. Uh, unfortunate drop, but Nash's just throw on the way down. Great throw. Uh, I would have thought Tinny's would probably have jumped. I don't know, I think he's missing TK Mad Struggle. Oh, he's gonna jump H there. Uh, crazy. Uh, I think he's gonna get another punch there, but it shouldn't be a setup anymore. <laughs> the classic. You hate to see it happen. Yeah, I mean, uh, at that point, why not? Uh, round start and revolver run up DP. Sinny is uh, taking a page out of the net play score book. Special zone. Good air throw. Good recognition. Again, don't know why he's going to throw the button now. Uh, a lot of damage. Great pain on the burst. Oh, wow. <laughs> so City is showing early that he has no respect uh, at all for anybody he's playing right now. Okay, we're going to jump right into the round here. More game to it. Uh, so we can definitely duck cut, push, and two buttons there. Again. Sydney is choosing the first of Venom Ghost Flash, man. That's, uh, in general, a really bad idea. Uh, just... Hold on to it for now. Yeah, in general, you don't want to burst on Venom Ghost Flash because the jump cancel hole is, generally speaking, going to usually follow the jump button anyway. So I said that was a crazy hit on jump D. That back was a lot. Soul 2D. Oh, I would like to see uh, Swigan be a little bit there. Good to use bullets. I was thinking more uh, dead angle. Should get a set up here. Yeah, he's worried about that DP. That was a very poor punish. I uh, could have just waited for him to land and got a much better punish off of there. So he's going to take that off the throw. Again, City is uh, really out here, just not respecting anything. Good throw. Uh, he's gonna come back in the corner, unfortunately. Yeah. Again, we're just thinking on the first slash, how would you get the swing and recognize them? Because Venom in general, uh, it, it's pretty free to beta birds, it's not the Venom's close slash. Even if you don't like throw it, it's pretty easy to block. He hasn't really done that yet, City is showing that he's willing to burst on close slash. Uh, I think at this point, also, so we should probably just, yeah, just, just block, because this is just going to do this shit. Just block every wake up, or every time on this wake up. Uh, really weird TV setup doesn't work out from there. Wish the 
generally be a really really ill-advised burst timing against Venom on a close slash. Uh, a really unfortunate swing and didn't recognize that and just uh, you know go out there and bait it at least once. Uh, but Cindy is gonna move on here. I think um, yeah Marwa and head press is working right now. Uh, <laughs> so I think we're just waiting on that side of the bracket if I'm correct. Yeah. Yeah so we are waiting for a little bit um so yeah it's an interesting start to the to the night that's for sure um and uh so far in uh winners finals Sinis is sitting in winners finals cha-cha and lord high press are still playing they had some technical difficulties uh frosty neko and 10 to 1 uh are playing off stream currently and then uh, as soon as we got losers matches we will be jumping into those So like, is there a cost to them match Reno, or is there just like a what do you call it, like a like a wait period before it gets set up? What do you mean? So like, you had the match Reno uh, this week. I'm just wondering whether there was like any reason uh, why it was tough to get match Reno previously, or whether it just you guys didn't occur to you guys yet. No, no, no. It was uh, we, it's something that we've been looking to for quite a while. Match Reno. You have to understand that match Reno is still very much. Um, I guess in a not not in a, it's not an unfinished, but it's not quite 100% right, fully functional. Right. Um, so it was more um, waiting for the right opportunity uh, to do Macherino. Um, obviously, with the, the influx of online, it makes sense because people are driven to do that. Um, but we don't. Macherino is great when you have a good online following of viewers. Um, it's not so great when it's just like everyone's at the local, right? Because a lot of the people that are going to locals aren't going to click the link. Right. Um, so it's just a matter of waiting for the right situation and the right timing for it to come up and waiting for the platform to get to a point where it made sense to jump on. Um, and I think we've 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 just reached that point with, with everything that's going on with the, uh, the COVID-19. Um, mm -hmm. So that's why we decided to do Matrino now. And it'll be a continuing part of uh, our ecosystem moving forward because one of the things that I did discuss is like, um, you know, after this whole coronavirus thing is done, I don't think these online tournaments are going to go away. Uh, uh, I feel like as much as I sometimes malign Strive, if they do the rollback right for that, I could see that game actually having a decent online tournament scene. Because uh, the big thing stopping Xtrade right now is Xtrade's netcode is better than a lot of games that are out there, but it's not the greatest. Uh, but I think like if Strive does one thing right, hopefully the rollback will be it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it comes down to, at the end of the day, like, I mean, people will still play push comes to shove, right? It's like, this is the situation that we're in now, right? Um, so it's just a matter of uh, right place, right time. Um, you know, did, Match Reno has been really great um, for, for certain people that know how to push it. Like, I know Arturo, obviously, is, is the titular yeah, example yeah. of a Match Reno success. Um, but, like, if you watch how he... Has, how much work he has to put in on Match Reno, and 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 what that does with his viewership. Um, not everyone can do that, right? Right. So he has a very unique situation, and it works for him. Um, so uh, right now, that that situation's come across our path, so we're taking advantage of it. And tonight, um, actually, he's talking about the the prize for tonight. Uh, I think we're up at 20, almost twenty dollars. We're at twenty one dollars for. Uh, Guilty Gear, so I'm going to post that into the chat, and if you guys want to support this tournament, definitely um, hit the contribute link on um, 
Macharino there. All you got to do is link it to your Twitch account, which probably would be the easiest if you've got it and you're watching already. Um, and basically, it's free 50 cents to the pot. Um, and if you really want to help us out, you can do the... Uh, the uh, the quests the sponsor quests as well on the on the right side of the page, um, and all it is is like following people following the accounts that are on there, and it's like you're adding to the prize pool, and it costs you nothing other than your effort. Um, so if you want to support your community, uh, that's the easiest way to do it. Um, and of course, who benefits? The players benefit because now there's a a pot bonus it's a little bit on the line for it, so which is nice because um, you know nobody likes to play for free, right? <laughs> Now is it uh, is it in USD or is it in Canadian dollars? It is in USDs, so That's it is crazy. it is big dollars. Yeah, that means you are literally making thirty cents on the dollar if you are a Canadian citizen right now. So it looks like Lord Pre Head Press and Swiggin are gonna play. Uh, so Lord Headpress, uh, I've seen him on the Netplay streets uh, before, so not entirely a stranger uh, to me. Again, kind of disappointed that Savior wasn't able to make it. Uh, Savior, you're a fairly, fairly good uh, Faust player. Uh, I've had the opportunity to play him a lot of times on uh, Netplay. Pretty strong. Yeah. So, a little unfortunate he couldn't make it. But there'll be a lot more opportunities to play, which is great, because it uh, looks like we're going to be stuck at home for a little while longer. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, hopefully by the end of the summer, uh, locals will be back and everyone will be back to normal. Lord Headpress playing Eno against uh, Spigen's Venom. Looks like we got Cha Cha Man and Dez on the other side of the bracket as well for winners. Yep, so you can watch that on the mainstream. Alright, these guys are heading into the game. Yeah, head press switch into Zato, actually. So again, I feel like this is a matchup you don't see a ton of, uh, in part because Zato is a very uncommon character in general. Uh, swinging off to a good start here, got him in the corner. Tries a 6pm out, doesn't convert it to 6H, unfortunately. Uh, head press showing early, he's not afraid to use Shadow Gallery. Uh, to kind of snipe out. Uh, swing in the air. Alright, here's his auto pressure started. Catch double overhead doesn't convert though. Again, Shadow Gallery catching him, pressing buttons, trying to anti air him. Good setup here, catches him low, forces the burst again, swinging. Not recognizing that people are bursting on his post slash when uh, they really shouldn't be. So again, I would really like to see him. Uh, Call that out the next time it comes. So, but he does take the round here uh, with the chip damage. Early ball set up here. Misses ball there, unfortunately. We block Shadow Gallery. No punish. There's an air combo there, unfortunately. Head press. The was not a knockdown, unfortunately. Misses pressure. Gets to the 5D. Ah, uh, there's the burst. So he actually set up the, uh, the unblockable there, or at least he tried to. Um, unfortunate for Swiggin that he got caught out of his burst of that. He's kind of wasted his burst. Yeah, uh, Zato notoriously has some difficulty uh, getting knocked down sometimes from distance uh, in this version of the game. Uh, gets, him low, gets him with the command grab, but unfortunately he throws him away. Doesn't convert there. Really one hit away from the head press, but Venom could absolutely run this back. So he but unfortunately dies to the chip there. A little ironic seeing Venom die to chip, uh, to be honest. Good 
XP there. Uh, he'd been relatively unsuccessful with 6Ps before then. Uh, Headfirst has been calling it out with uh, Shadow Gallery. It's a knockdown here. So it's a Betty. Good air combo. Is it a knockdown? Okay. Uh, bursts off of the ground, which I think is good. Uh, Zato's dead angle is pretty mediocre, uh, but Hebra has been having a, a good rate of success with it. Uh, Swig unfortunately hit the, uh, Eddie up there, but uh, didn't get too much of a punish for it. Uh, this is not going to be enough. Thing. Oh, it actually was. Good conversion there from Swiggin. Alright, uh, head press, I believe, is going to probably switch back to, uh, you know. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so this might be a little more difficult uh, for Swiggin to deal with. Uh, Venom doesn't have a great reversal options. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how effective his 6P is going to be uh, in an Oki situation, and it's going to depend a lot on how good Headpress's Oki is uh, with Eno, but uh, definitely I think this is a match for Eno. Can steamroll if she gets a, gets a knockdown. Okay, does not convert there. Yeah, there's the 6P coming out. The call out on the dash. I think I would like to see uh, head press use the note a little bit more neutral here. Maybe to contest some of these balls that are coming out. Alright, gets a knockdown. VCL there. Not sure about that one. Alright. Uh, again, I think he's just missing his, uh, his TK Mad Strike on those. It's unfortunate. Uh, again, like really, really strange. Uh, Oki attempts here, head press. Uh, that should be it. Nope, drops it. Can absolutely run this back now. Converts this properly. Yep. Oh, we dropped it, unfortunate. Okay, catches him anyways. Uh, really unfortunate drop there. Uh, you generally want to end that in the, uh, your Psycho Crusher that she has. So we send out the balls early. Good knockdown here for head press. Uh, doesn't really capitalize on it, unfortunately. Strong setup here. Uh, forced to burst out. I think that was a good burst point there. Uh, in the corner. Really weird use of uh, stroke wire C. Just do an easy knockdown. And the setup. Yep. Got you some high. So we can jump in out here to uh, set point. Uh, head press having a little more success here with uh, you know than he was with Venom, or with uh, Zada rather. He's gonna watch out because uh, head for Swigan has been having a much higher success right here, uh, calling out dashes at 6P and 2D anti air there you saw. Yeah, like there's 6P doing a really good effective job of calling out, you know. Uh, doing dash in neutral. Good dead angle. Yeah, I think yeah at first there. Okay, versus a knockdown. Ooh, gets the reset. Yeah, you really don't want to tech there. Uh, you know, players always looking for the reset. I don't know what he was going for there. Good air throw. Head press gonna take that one. Uh, I, I liked what I was seeing there towards the end uh, from head press. Uh, good job calling out the tech. Uh, with the air throw uh, for the reset. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. One. Let's rock. <laughs> so I think Headpress does have to kind of cool it a bit with the uh, the hop dash in neutral. Uh, so we can, like again, he's just throwing out six piece here, just trying to call that out. So yeah, very good idea there, throwing the note out. Let's see him do it a little bit more than what I've seen. That's unfortunate. Alright, we've got to block that. Yeah, it might be nice just to see the note coming out here when he has opportunity. 
Uh, Casino can use it pretty effectively to cover her approach. Uh, she does have a very linear approach uh, moving forward. The top dash is her only dash option. And again, yeah, calling out the hop dash with 6P. And Venom 6P is so strong. Uh, it's a really effective way of preventing Eno from just kind of getting in for free uh, in neutral. There's the note there. Uh, it doesn't take the space, unfortunately. It's a knockdown, though. Uh, that's a pretty brave throw on uh, Wake Up, given what Eno currently does. Through AMI programming, I finally had a community that I could relate to. Hi. Uh, really good start here for Lord Headfresh. She converts into a knockdown. Doesn't get there. Big throw by Swiggin. Uh, this is a lot of trouble here for Eno. Uh, she does have her stupor, and there it is. Uh, this, if it hits, yeah. If it hits or is blocked, that stupor is safe. Uh, so Eno with Mythic Eater a lot of times will do that. And uh, Headfresh able to close it out, and now they're both on set point here. Headfresh looking to take this, doing much better with Eno than he was with Zato. There, so you got the note out, cancels out the balls, creates like a, a moving hitbox to kind of cover your approach here as you know, uh, which I think is very important in this matchup because Venom can easily start shutting down approach lanes uh, when your character doesn't let your movement as Eno can have. Uh, sitting on 50 bar again, gonna be to see if he goes for the super uh, just to get out for free or get out for the easy meter. Again, gotta watch that 6P. Good note doesn't convert off of it though. Right over top of the ball, gets the reset there. Oh, she went for it there. Uh, just a little bit misspaced and had uh, swinging tech backwards. Oh, that's a really bad ball setup there, unfortunately. So reset. One more combo away, I believe. Let's get his knockdown there again. Sets up no. That's really unfortunate. Oh, wow. This is actually going to uh, confirm there. But not going to matter as he catches them, not blocking on wake up. Close match. Yeah, no, that was actually a really good um, last two matches there. Uh, I think Headpress uh, was doing a lot of things right uh, with Eno. Uh, again, like I was saying, I'd like to see him uh, utilize the note a bit more to cover her linear approach, uh, especially when the balls start coming out. Um, and also just say, you know, kind of getting some of those combo routes down. 